Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have King Ryan Garcia, the undefeated top challenger in the game, one of the hottest young stars in the game. Then we have Devin the Dream Haney, the undefeated two-division world champion. He is the former undisputed lightweight champion and the current WBC super lightweight champion. Then we have a killer that gorilla out of Baltimore, Javante Tank Davis, the undefeated three-division world champion. The hottest young star in the game. We all know everybody want to be tanked when it comes to these young fighters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. Javante Tank Davis already stopped Brian Garcia in the seventh round with a beautiful body shot. You know what I mean? And a lot of people try to take Tank credit away from stopping Ryan Garcia. They want to say that Ryan Garcia quit it. He didn't quit. Javante Tank Davis stopped him. But what the Devin Haney fanatics, the Faggot Knights, and the Devin Maniacs want to hear is... Tank say, I want Devin after the Ryan Garcia fight if he's victorious. Well, guess what? Devin need to be victorious. He need to go out there and beat Ryan Garcia, then see if Javante Tank Davis give him the opportunity. But I want Tank to say, I want his ass next because I want to see the fight next. Tank get his fight on the 20th, and then Devin Haney, if he's victorious against Ryan Garcia, come to some type of an agreement with Javante Tank Davis. But it has to be realistic. Yeah, it has to be realistic. For the Devin fan club out there that keeps saying, oh, well, you know, this shouldn't matter and that shouldn't matter. Understand this. Devin Haney is the B-side to Javante Tank Davis. Devin Haney just blew up to 160-some pounds going up against Regis Progray. Now, y'all can say what y'all want to say. Well, Devin, y'all say Devin ain't got no punching power. Y'all say Tank going to knock Devin out. Y'all saying Devin is weak. So why are y'all worrying about the weight? Y'all shouldn't worry about the weight. Oh, my God, the Tank fan club. Oh, y'all are something else. No, nah, it ain't about that. It's about what Javante Tank Davis want. He's the A-side. You feel me? He's the A-side. You dig what I'm saying? And if you say Tank, I mean, if you say Devin can't blow up to 165, 170 fucking pounds, then that's what he say. Period. You know what I mean? Now, if Devin so believe in himself, if y'all so believe in Devin, he go outbox Tank. Tank is just a little shorty. He's afraid of Devin and all this shit. Then why don't Devin agree? Huh? Why don't he agree? Answer that question. But I'm going to tell you like this. Ryan Garcia is a hell of a fighter, man. Ryan Garcia is a hell of a fighter. I know a lot of y'all be hating on Ryan. Now, I hope Ryan is okay. It, 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 it's, you know, it's... Looking like he's going through something. I'm praying that it's all a, a, a facade and an act to help build this fight up. And Ryan in the gym training his ass off to be 100% Ryan Garcia, right? But, it, you know, you got people like it's his former, I think it's his former fiance or former wife, right? Ex saying that he's really going through something and he needs some help. And Ryan on social media doing this and doing that. But Ryan Garcia got a shot in this Devin Haney fight if Ryan Garcia is 100%. If Ryan Garcia is Ryan Garcia, he has a shot against Devin Haney, bro. And y'all can try to play Ryan like he's some type of sucker if all y'all want to. You know what I mean? But if Ryan is Ryan, he has a shot. He know Devin. They've been in the amateurs together. He has the speed and the power to negate some of the things Devin do. And if Devin slip up and let Ryan catch him on that temple and then finish him off on that chin, it can be night-night, you know what I'm saying, Devin Haney. And then guess what? No tank fight. No tank fight. You dig? So if y'all won't tank the fight, Devin next, y'all need to be telling um, Devin to focus on Ryan Garcia and not this king right here in Tank. But we know Tank allegedly supposed to be fighting Frank Mort. It looked like that supposed to be the fight going down in June. We got to wait because we haven't got the, the confirmation 120% and things of that nature. But if Tank is taking on Frank, he got a, a, a task on his hand that he has to handle his business as well. So for all y'all that's saying, oh, man, we won't take the call out Devin. We won't take the call out Devin. Nah, man, if Tank is going to fight Frank, Tank is going to be focused on his next opponent. His next opponent. And I can respect that. I can respect that to the utmost. Because it's one fight at a time out here in these boxing streets. The moment you start looking too far ahead, it's the moment you fuck up. And the moment you find yourself um, with, with, your, with your zero gone and you got your first loss. And you looking up like, what the fuck just happened? You understand know what I'm saying? So what Devin need to do is focus on Ryan Garcia. He need to focus on Ryan. You know what I mean? He need to focus on Ryan because, like I said, a lot of y'all out there, y'all just think this is a cakewalk for Devin Haney. Y'all just feel like Ryan finna just massacre Devin. It's going to be like this, and it's going to be like that, right? Y'all expectations are very, very high 
for Devin and this Ryan Garcia fight because y'all just think Ryan is just some type of easy peasy walking apart. You know what I mean? So if Devin go on there, if he struggle with Ryan Garcia and Ryan hit him with some shit, I want to see if y'all go come back and get Ryan is just doing his credit. I don't want to hear no, well, you know it was this, and you know it was that, no. Even if Devin Vic, if, is victorious, you understand? Even if he's victorious, if if Ryan go out there and get his boy a run for his money, y'all better get Ryan go see his just doing his credit, bro. You feel me? Because y'all just think Devin is just the motherfucking, the baddest man walking the planet. Oh, Devin beat so many top shotters. Devin resume is so great. And Devin did this and Devin did that. Sleep on Ryan go see if you want to. Sleep on Ryan go see if you want to. And Ryan go be in y'all motherfucking nightmares. You dig what I'm saying? And like I say, Ryan, you got to be on your shit. You can't be fucking up. You can't be out here, you know, drugging and acting like you're thugging. You feel me? So if we got the 100% Ryan Garcia going in there, he go, he go prove y'all boys wrong. And I'm standing on what I say. He go prove y'all boys wrong. Like I say, I favor Devin in this fight on the points, but I damn sure get Ryan Garcia a hell of a shot, man. A hell of a shot. Ryan come up in the same era as these boys. Ryan Garcia, um, what do he say, 15-time national champion, right? A lot of y'all, oh, Ryan ain't nothing but a TikTok. Ryan ain't nothing but a social media star. Ryan ain't nothing but this and Ryan ain't nothing but that. Bill Haney told y'all, Ryan Garcia is a fighter posing as a TikToker. <laughs> Ryan Garcia is a fighter posing as a TikToker. That come from William Bill Haney's mouth. You know Ryan ain't no joke. He don't have to fuck around. But I'm going to say this too. If Devin is victorious and Tank is victorious in this next fight, whomever he face, yeah, I do want Tank to say, hey, Devin, what's up now? Yeah, what's up now? Don't run up to no 47. Don't cry about the next opponent and things of that nature. Come and sit your ass down and negotiate because, you know, they, they don't do good with negotiating for real. Only time they try to negotiate is when they think they got the edge over somebody. You know what I mean? And y'all have never had an edge over Javante Tank Davis. Never. You know what I'm saying? Tank is the A-side over you boys, and y'all know it. Y'all know Tank got that it factor that y'all want so, so bad. Y'all want that it factor so, so bad. But you can't get it, man. You can't get it. So if Tank say, come sit down at the table, let's negotiate, and we going to talk about a catch weight or a rehydration clause, and if Devin turn it down, I want all the Devin fan club out there to say, Devin, what are you doing? Accept it. Yeah, accept it. If y'all want to fight so, so bad, tell Tank to send a contract. Oh, Tank ain't saying nothing. He's not sending a contract. He don't want to fight. He don't want to fight. Well, if Devin don't agree to what Javante Tank Davis um, tell his ass to agree to, I want y'all to do Devin the same way y'all was trying to do Shakur Stevenson when y'all was mad that Shakur didn't accept that 25%. You feel me? I want y'all to do Devin the same way because if the opportunity is presented and, and a man give you a shot, right, he gave you an offer, and you turn it down, then y'all don't want to fight. Y'all don't want to fight. You know what I mean? According to y'all standards. According to all the Devin Haney, you know, fan club standards. If, if you get sent the offer and you turn it down, you don't want to fight. So if Tank sent that boy an offer, right, for 25%, a catch weight, and a rehydration clause, <laughs> Devin Haney need to accept it. He need to accept it. That's coming from y'all standards. You know what I'm saying? But I want this fight to take place. I want Tank to fight Devin. I want to see what Devin is really about and see if he can take that power with Javante Tank Davis. You know what I mean? Let's see if he can take that power with Javante Tank Davis uh, like in the sparring session like y'all said. Oh, he was so poised. Oh, he was taking the power. He's a young man. He was only 16. And he was holding his own. Oh, my God. Devin held his own at 16 years old. It was so amazing. It was like watching Jesus walk on water. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if he hold his own with them eight ounces and no head girl on. You understand what I'm saying? Period, fam. Shouts out to Ryan Garcia, man. Hope you're doing good. Hope you, you know, just trolling and help trying to sell some tickets. Um, good luck to Devin, um, April 20th. And you know it's most definitely can't wait to see Tank back in the ring and put on the performance. But if Tank victorious and Devin is victorious, um, we're going to see if Devin didn't really want to negotiate. I want Tank to call that boy out. And like I said, whatever Tank put in that contract, Devin better accept it. I don't want no if ands, buts about it. Straight like that, and I'm on to the next.